Hypochlor is a relatively new addition to the ophthalmic market. It's a very unique product that consists of a topical formulation of a spray-on 0.02% uh, concentration of hypochlorous acid solution. Uh, hypochlorous acid is unique in that it's actually produced naturally by white blood cells in the body in response to pathogenic bacteria, pathogenic infection. Uh, it has both antimicrobial properties naturally and it has anti-inflammatory properties as well. And this product has been used for a number of years in both sanitizing uh, hospital-based equipment and also in the treatment of wound care, both acute wounds like burns and lacerations and even chronic wounds like diabetic ulcers. It has the capacity, as I mentioned, to both neutralize bacterial pathogens and to control the inflammation that's associated with them. We recommend hypochlor as an adjunctive therapy to a normal lid hygiene regimen. Particularly, we recommend this for patients who have obvious signs of microbial infection or overgrowth so that we see a, a very recalcitrant, resistant blepharitis situation or associated ocular surface disease. Um, this is not intended to take the place of a surfactant cleaner. Cleaners like OcuSoft uh, Lid Scrub Plus are essential for removing the oils and dirt that accumulate on the lid margin, but Hypochlor is beneficial for that bacterial overgrowth. Even though Hypochlor is not classified as an antibiotic, it actually has great potential to eradicate microbial pathogens. Uh, in some of the clinical studies, it eradicated 99.9999% of the populations tested uh, in a matter of several minutes, which is extraordinary. It was effective against many of the common species of bacteria that we encounter as the normal microbial flora, such as Staph epidermidis, Staph aureus, MRSA, and Streptococcus. So this is very beneficial, and it is important to be able to use something like this in lieu of antibiotic solutions or antibiotic ointments, or antibiotic steroid combinations, which can be much costlier, which can have more toxicity issues, and can develop resistance over time when used in chronic infections. Now, although we use hypochlor primarily for patients with blepharitis, this can also be a very, very effective uh, perioperative strategy for patients who are undergoing cataract surgery or refractive surgery. Reducing the bio burden on the lid margins and around the ocular surface is very, very important to surgical outcomes. We recognize that a stable tear film is essential for good outcomes in these patients as well. And so often we can recommend this in lieu of antibiotic solutions or other therapies that might be costlier. We'll recommend patients use something like Hypochlor twice daily for a period of about a month prior to surgery. And this has great capacity to improve the outcomes and has great patient uptake because it is part of the normal lid cleansing regimen. Well, one of the things that I want practitioners to understand is that this product is, in my opinion, as good, if not better than the other competitor in this category. Hypochlor is a 0.02% formulation, and not that that difference in concentration makes it that much better, but there are some distinct advantages on the hypochlor side. Number one, it's available without a prescription, so patients can access this much easier. Uh, number two, the cost difference is substantial. Uh, Hypochlor is generally less expensive, in some cases far less expensive than Avanova. And most importantly, the shelf life of this is quite large. Once the Avanova bottle is opened, it has a shelf life of only 30 days. The Hypochlor, on the other hand, has a shelf life open or closed of 18 months. So patients who feel the need to use this sporadically, uh, who may not use it up otherwise in 30 days, have the capacity to stretch this out much longer, and for that reason, it becomes much more economical. One of the nice things about Hypochlor for any practice is that it can be purchased and sold directly from that practice to patients who need it. Uh, this is certainly beneficial from the standpoint of a revenue stream, an additional revenue stream for the practice that doesn't depend on fees or insurance reimbursement. But in addition, 
it makes it much easier for the patient, much more convenient for the patient in that they don't need to go to a pharmacy or order the product online. This convenience also helps to translate into compliance for the patient. They're much more likely to comply with the doctor's recommended therapies if it's easy and it's all done in one particular one stop. One caution I'd give to practitioners that they should be aware of is that this has a very unique odor to it. And it's not an offensive odor, but it is something that patients will remark about. Uh, it has a tendency because of the ingredients to smell like a chlorinated swimming pool or a hot tub. Uh, and that's very readily apparent. So what we do is rather than let the patients find this out on their own, we tend to like to sample this in the office. We let them smell it, we let them touch it. We'll actually even dab it on their eyes so they understand despite the smell, it really is very comfortable, very easy to use. And that in addition helps to improve compliance with this product.